Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge, Rick Redman here, and we are now in week 11 of this Madden NFL 18 franchise for your Los Angeles Rams. Coming off of that, probably his best career game, Jared Goff with that five touchdown performance last week. We take a look at what he's been doing so far in his second season in the league. Showing, showing growth, showing development this year with 20 touchdowns, 14 picks, over 2,000 yards as we go a little bit past halfway through the season. So showing you how he's matured already through his second year as our number one draft pick. But going into today's game, he's going to be facing another former Rams number one pick that was drafted as the quarterback for their team and that is Sam Bradford of the Vikings so look at his stats he's actually doing pretty well for himself going into this season he's got 14 touchdowns and only five picks with over 2,000 passing yards so that's safe to say Bradford is doing well for himself over Minnesota but hey we got to show them that our quarterback is the future, not theirs. And you see this playoff picture right here. It's a tight playoff picture in the NFC. A lot of five and four teams and a lot of six and three teams, including these two that are playing today, the Los Angeles Rams. That'll be us taking on the Minnesota Vikings on the road. This has a big time game implication here because this could probably settle tiebreakers going in to the playoffs. So let's go ahead and get this game started here. Minnesota gets the ball on the first possession. Third and 12, Bradford's gonna get that completion. Close to a first down, but just short, so we would take over. So now Goff gets his first crack on offense here in today's game, as he finds a nice pass, starting off the game strong here. To Sammy Walker on the left side for a first down. Then on second and 10 here, Goff's gonna find Cooper Cup. Cup still fighting, still gaining a little extra yards there and gets the first down as well. So we are driving very nicely here. Goff on third and four here. Once again, gets another completion. This time it's a Sammy Watkins again for another first down right at the five. Then on third and goal, can he complete the drive here? Goff play action. He's gonna find Gerald Everett in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. And just like that, on the road, in a hostile environment, we go up 7-0. Great first drive here. We took up almost the first quarter. But now here comes Minnesota and Sam Bradford taking a deep shot. It's Kyle Rudolph. How'd he get so open? But what a diving play and catch right there. Hats off to Rudolph for making that play. You gotta give him props for that. Bradford though dropping back on the next play and he gets sacked. Mark Barron coming up the blitz up the middle. So now it's third and 10 of the switch sides of the field starting the second quarter. Bradford's gonna take a deep left shot right there, but no. Trying to hit his receiver, but it looks like our defender, I think that was Webster, coming up with a great defensive play here. So we get the ball, but on third and seven, it was incomplete. There was an injury timeout on that play, and it looks like it's our starting center, Sullivan, who once again is hurt, and he will not be able to return. So Sullivan, who is gonna be a free agent next year, we're trying to sign him an offer deal, but he's getting hurt quite a bit, so I don't know, we might have to rethink about resigning him, I don't know, but we'll talk about that later. As look at this, Kyle Rudolph again making another big play. Marching all the way down the field and gets knocked down to the five yard line. Rudolph just exposing the middle of our defense right now. Third and goal for the Vikings here. Can they get a touchdown to complete this? But no, our defense was able to shut him down. And once again, Minnesota has to go to another field goal while they're in the red zone. So at least the defense making the play when the going gets tough. Now going into the next play here, third and 15. Looking to make a big conversion here. Goff, plenty of time in the pocket and he converts to Cooper Cup going towards the middle of the field, right inside the 15. So big third down conversion to keep the drive alive here with less than a minute to have to play. Another third and long situation. Can we convert here? Goff hit those, finds Todd Gurley on the right side of the field. But it is short of the first down, so we decide to go for, take our three points and get us up by four now. Now here comes Bradford and the Vikings driving. Doing a two minute offense here. And oh, look at this. Oh, almost big. That would have been huge. But they would eventually punt the ball. So now it's our turn to see if we can get points before halftime. Oh no, Goff makes a mistake. He throws a pick. 
his first pick within the last two weeks. And it's Xavier Rhodes. Could help Minnesota. Who will now at least get three points right before the half. And just like that, we could have at least, at the minimum, had a four-point lead. Now, we only have a one-point lead heading into the second half. So, not the best decision by Goff here. But look at this. First play of the second half. To hand it off to Todd Gurley, who's been quiet all day. And he's going to go untouched all the way for a touchdown. 72-yard touchdown. Oh, and he did the LT. I think that's the LT celebration right there. Look at this here. Going up the middle of the field. Bound to the left side. Untouched. Nobody is going to catch up to Todd Gurley. And I mean nobody. He's just too fast. Dancing his way. And yes, he did just do the LT. So now, big, big play to get us going here to start this third quarter as we go up 17-9. But look at this, number 17 of the Vikings. Who is that? I don't know who he is, but he just scored on us. Look at this, a 75-yard touchdown play. That is Jarius Wright, actually. Bradford to Wright on the second play of their, of the, of the half for them. And they get a touchdown. Look at this. They go for the two to go for the tie. And they get it. Dillon makes the catches it. And it's all tied up just like that. 17 apiece. Wow. We got ourselves a game here, folks. As you see here. Goff finding Robert Woods. Nice juke move. Gets the first down. Goff. Besides that one pick, I can still have been playing pretty well. Look at this throw here on third and seven. Another big third down conversion that Goff has made. And finds Cooper Cup. Then on first and ten, next play, Goff finding Gerald Everett. Another first down inside the 15. And then on third and three, can Goff make another big third down conversion here? He does, and he finds Cooper Cup. Cup for the touchdown. As we now go up one score here, as Goff was able to just zing it right into Cup between those two defenders. Gets the ball right over the line. And now Minnesota turn to respond here. Bradford, he's going to try to hit his target, but it is incomplete. There is an injury timeout. Who is it? Who's the injured guy? Oh, and it's Sam Bradford. What happened? How did he get injured? Oh, that's probably why. Robert Quinn right after the throw. Luckily, did not get a roughing the passer. Takes a shot right at Bradford. Bradford, that's not a good sign. He's sitting down on the bench. And that is a cause of concern for the Vikings. Bruce Sternum out for the game. So that means Teddy Bridgewater is going to have to step up for the Vikings. He does get that first down to his receiver here. On third and six, Bridgewater needs to convert. And it's picked off by Trumaine Johnson. Johnson down the left side. Juke move. Breaks a tackle. Cuts in. Cuts back out. Oh, and he gets tackled right at the 28. Trumaine Johnson. That might have been his first pick of the season. I don't remember him getting a pick at all this year. So finally, he's making a play. And we will at least get three points on the board after that pick. So now, Bridgewater is going to have to redeem himself after that interception. He does make a nice completion to that right side of the field for a first down. Bridgewater throwing on the run off his back foot. Makes a huge throw and completion to that receiver. Now inside our territory, Minnesota. Bridgewater looking. He's going to scramble. Oh, he just fakes one of our defenders and slides for a first down. 13-yard gain. Then on third and seven, we thought they were going to pass, but it looks like they actually go for the run, and he gets the touchdown, Latavius Murray. Another injury timeout, but nonetheless, Minnesota cuts the lead now to three. So now, here comes Goff and the Rams. They got to keep this drive alive and maybe just hopefully get this clock wind down, run the clock down, and see if we can come out with a victory on the road. He makes a nice completion of the cup. Then... Finally, Gurley getting a big run here. That's probably his that's probably his second big run of the game. He's been quiet though throughout the most of the part. But here comes Gurley again, getting another first down, but oh he fumbled. He fumbled. But luckily one of our linemen might have just picked it up. So that does waste the Minnesota timeout. So third and goal. Minnesota, no timeouts. Gurley's gonna hurdle for the end zone, but gets stopped at the one. So it's fourth and goal at the one yard line. Decision time. Do we go for the safe field goal 
or go for the win. We're lining up for the win. Can we get the touchdown? We do! Todd Gurley secures it for us and we go on the road to Minnesota and get the victory just like that. The O-line doing its job and Todd Gurley sealing it for us at the one yard line for a touchdown as we go on to win this game 34 to 24. Big time game with a big time win. Probably some of you are thinking that was probably risky to go for it on fourth and goal, especially could have just kicked the field goal and go up by six. But hey, anything could happen in the NFL. Kickoff returns can happen. We've seen crazy stuff happen, but nonetheless, it pays off for us as we go to take our record up to seven and three as the playoffs are inching closer and closer. And thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Until next time, guys. This is Rick Redman signing out.